Thanks for uh, stealing some of my thunder there, Brian. But, uh, well, when I asked you how many victories I was away from 100, you laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> the Pride Moons basketball team is 10 and 7, 7 and 3 in conference play. And they hope to get up, back on track this Saturday versus Averitt. The women play at 2 in a minute 4. The team has been led by Daniel Duncan and Dion Eccles. Both local kids, Danielle's from Rasdale, Ian Eccles is from uh, West Forsyth. They're both averaging about 17 points a game. They completed the same road trip as the men's team, won at Shenandoah, and then uh, fell at uh, Christian Report, and then Methodist last night. But the win at Shenandoah was the 100th career win for Pride Head Coach Jason Tuggles. So it's a big honor, and I uh, would like to welcome Jason.
take a moment to recognize a, a couple of folks. Um, first of all, I want to thank our uh, catering here on campus. That was a great meal and for all that they've done with this. But also, too, I want to thank uh, a couple of media members. Um, Andy Durham and Don Moore from GreensboroSports.com. I don't know if many of you are familiar with that, but in this changing times of media, they have a website that focuses on um, local sporting activities. And Don has been here to video all of our luncheons, and we appreciate that. But also, um, recently, here at Greensboro College, we started something called Pride TV through Ustream, um, Ustream.tv. And Don was one who gave the recommendation for that and has been helpful in uh, technical assistance with that new venture. So I did want to thank those two gentlemen and wanted to let everyone want to know about GreensboroSports.com and please check them out when you get a chance. That concludes our program. Do we have anything from the Sports Commission? Deb? Deb Bradford? <coughs> Mark had a slide out, so I'm going to pitch in for him a little bit today. Uh, Again, I'd like to thank all our media uh, for being here in attendance, and um, I'd like to just say thank you for all of our coaches uh, who take the time from their busy schedule to come out and uh, be here, because I know it's it's not easy to uh, leave the uh, the film room and practice and get get over here and, and do this every week, but we appreciate uh, you guys doing it, so uh, thank you. Uh, we have a couple of board members here I'd like to, just like to recognize. Uh, Coach Palumbo um, from Gilbert, uh, Hunter Galloway, uh, Kim Strabel, and Lizelle Free. I think that's the board members that we have here in, a, in attendance. Um, also, uh, we introduced our last last time, but I think everybody met today officially. Uh, Camille Townsend from our staff. Uh, Camille, um, a lot of you know Janet uh, De Bartolo, but Camille is now our administrative assistant in our office, and so. Uh, if you call over there and you don't get Mark or myself, actually, you'll get somebody a lot better. Uh, you'll get Camille, so uh, we're, we're pleased to have her with us. Um, everybody today got the uh, ribbon, uh, and they were courtesy of uh, Friends for an Earlier Breast Cancer Detection. Uh, and everybody, a lot of people are going, you're putting this on wrong. And I just want to kind of uh, tell you guys why we're doing it upside down. And uh, got a little, got a funny story in, in that, I was up uh, at church, um, and I, I was uh, filling in, helping with the music, and I had on my little pen like this, and it was upside down. So after church, one of the older guys came up, and he said, why do you have a Playboy bunny on your jacket? You're up there to read the music. And I said, it's not a Playboy bunny, you know. But um, it is upside down because we are... Um, Friends for an Earlier Breast Cancer Detection is an, a new direction for early detection. So, um, and as everybody knows that is uh, involved with NCAA basketball, we are beginning uh, Think Pink Week. And so, uh, you know, we're, we want to be participating in that. 